70 years, we really we bought products from one company and we sold them to manufacturers. And what we realized over time is we had an opportunity to actually create some of our own products based on the relationships we had with our customers and the applications that we saw sort of unserved there. And one of the key drivers for our business today is product development. For a while, we, we subbed that kind of work out. We realized we didn't have a lot of control over our vendor. There was a time lag between our idea and the design. And by the time we'd get the product back, we'd already had another idea and another iteration. And at some point, we realized we we're going to spend more money on contracting this work than if we just buy our own. Probably 10 years ago uh, or so, we bought our first 3D printer. It was relatively expensive and it was limited to what it could do. But today, as we find ourselves having to deal with a consumer customer, we realize that the packaging was a critical point for our product now, and that the machine that we had would not enable us to provide that kind of variety in prototyping. So we have a product now that we've created. Uh, it was driven by Africa. In fact, we went to Nigeria. The governor of one of those states said, listen, I ran on an electrical platform. I was going to provide rural electrification to my people. I haven't done it. I need a product. And I think it looks like this. Five LED lights, a phone charger, and it needs to run for 12 hours. We were so focused on how to build the product functionally on the outset that we didn't worry about how it looked. Now that we had solved the problem of functionality, we realized how it looked and the form factor, et cetera, was gonna be critical, more so than we had imagined in the past. So 3D printing was the only answer. The key points for us in making the decision was the quality and the cost. And, and what we learned with this 3D systems printer was the cost was very good and the quality was exceptional. In fact, the quality was better than machines that were five times the price. And so it was really hard for us to understand why anybody would buy that machine when you could do so much more with a machine that was a fraction of the cost. ProJet's ability to handle multiple materials was a big selling point for us actually, because uh, not only do we do uh, enclosures, we also do lights and, and other things. So having the ability to, to print in a solid color and then having the ability to also print a clear version and even the rubber material. So if we wanted to do uh, like a casing for the unit or if we wanted to have a gasket, we could easily print that out of rubber as well and prototype that. The easy clean system that, that 3D Systems has provided with the, with the unit allows the, uh, the wax to dissolve and the support structures to come off without any real work effort. Uh, before, we had a, a, a different type of system where you'd have to actually either snip the material or let it sit in a caustic bath and dissolve. The overall, it's been, a, it's been a, a vast improvement in speed and in uh, overall effectiveness. I was uh, originally contacted by one of the members here at Hyde Park. Uh, they were interested in learning a little bit more about 3D printing uh, with an emphasis on purchasing a printer uh, here in the future. Budget was always kind of kept in mind as far as what their, uh, what their ultimate goal was. Uh, and we were able to find a solution uh, to stay within their budget with a wide variety of materials in the Project 2500 Plus. So we actually came out, we did the installation for the system, made sure everything was up and running. Uh, we also did training. Uh, so we were able to show the team here uh, at, uh, at Hyde Park on how to use a printer, how to use a post finishing, and how to use the software. We couldn't do what we do without our ProJet 2500. Not only could we not do it, we couldn't afford to buy machines that are much more expensive, but have no more capability than what this one does. So the product really fits a nice niche, at least for us as a company, that is cost effective, but it produces a very high quality product. And when we started researching this, I would have never thought we could have buy a machine that can do what this one can do for the price that we could buy it for.